Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are going to see what if every single NBA player was in their all-time prime. So I like to do this for every single season just because like players go around the league and things like that. And it's kind of fun to take a look down memory lane and kind of see like how some of these all-time grades would play if they were in the current NBA and stuff like that. Um, so keep in mind as we go through these rosters this is not based off a player's potential so you know guys like trey young we don't exactly know what their prime is going to be so those guys as of right now are playing their prime basketball so it's mainly for players that are like in the past and stuff like that if you guys do want to see a video with like the rookies and younger players re reaching their max potential drop a like on this video and i will definitely do so so let's go ahead and take a look at these rosters um, this roster was created by my man franchise city guys be sure to check out his youtube channel does a ton of like rebuilds and my league stuff very awesome dude puts in a lot of effort and time just so we can have these videos he's awesome guys franchise city you're a beast bro okay man so here we go as far as the teams we have the philadelphia 76ers of course you know with like a prime jimmy butler who's actually playing some of his best basketball right now draw and beat of course 91 overall but then you get like jj reddick wilson chandler markel folds who as a rookie you know was a 79 overall player amir johnson so you know man they get a few pieces out there we got the milwaukee bucks with of course you know a prime brooke lopez eric bledsoe out there we got the chicago bulls i guess i should probably go through all the lists right here so you guys can see all the players um, and what their ratings are looking like so it might take a quick second if you guys do want to fast forward to the simulation feel free to do so on that uh, for the chicago bulls not a ton of prime players to be honest you got that minnesota Timberwolves, kevin love jr smith who is technically still on the roster has not been traded yet at the making of this video then of course the boston celtics have a ton of young players already but i mean you got like you know goran hayward balling out and stuff like that la clippers um you know avery bradley patrick beverly both you know when they're on like the clippers or i'm sorry when the uh, Boston Celtics for Avery and the Houston Rockets for Patrick Beverly. They were great. Of course, you got the Memphis Grizzlies with uh, this prime Mike Conley and Marcus Saul duo. Even Chandler Parsons, who was had a few good NBA seasons. Atlanta Hawks, yes. Vince Sanity and Lynn Sanity is coming back, bro. Tony Prince, Trey Young, of course, out there. Uh, we have the Miami Heat. Y'all know you're going to see that prime Dwayne Wade as he's in his final NBA season. Those has been playing some amazing basketball. Goran Dragic back to his son's day. Sasan Whiteside, of course. Charlotte Hornets. We have a former finals MVP in Tony Parker uh, having go to go to the shooting guard position, though, mainly a point guard in his NBA career, of course, out there with Kemba Walker. Uh, we got the Utah Jazz team looking like this. Another team that has a lot of young players. When you got like Kyle Korver, who's the newest addition. Ricky Rubio, who's had some good NBA seasons. Sacramento Kings, you got uh, Zach Randolph out there playing that power forward position. And then we got the New York Knicks. I don't believe they have any like really old players that would be like prime now. Uh, of course, you got Porzingis and his canter. Those Lakers team's going to be killing it, man. You got LeBron James, the Miami Heat version. You got Rondo from the Boston Celtics days. Tyson Chandler, Michael Beasley, who had a really good rookie season on the Miami Heat. I believe he averaged close to like 20 points per game. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Something It was something like that. I don't know if exactly. Um, the Orlando Magic, Vucevic, Aaron Gordon, DJ Augustine, Dallas Mavericks. You got that prime Dirk Nowitzki with DeAndre Jordan Harrison Barnes. Sorry, I'm going to show the rest of the roster. I keep on forgetting to do that because usually I just show like the top-notch players uh brooklyn nets team looking like this with d-low Harris, lavert denver nuggets of course you got isaiah thomas running it with Jokic. so uh i mean isaiah thomas was good for like one season but it was still a 30 point per game season which was technically his prime year right of course you got the pacers you got the pelicans uh look pretty much the same although they got julio okafer so he might actually start alongside anthony davis you got my detroit pistons with a prime blake griffin drummond jose calderon who was actually a really solid passing point guard back on his toronto raptors days Raptors team like this with a uh, prime Sergi Baca Valachunas, um, Houston Rockets. You got Gerald Green. You got Chris Paul back from the uh, Hornets days. James Harden, of course, Clint Capella. Uh, San Antonio Spurs actually got a prime Paul Gasol, 94 overall player with DeRozan and Marcus Aldridge. That team is going to be pretty deadly, I'd say, in this simulation. We got the Phoenix Suns team looking like this. Still no point guard, though, that you can see through the at all. Okay, C Thunder, Russell Westbrook, uh, Paul George, 93 overall, Steven Adams, Dennis Schroeder. That's what that team's looking like. You got the Minnesota Timberwolves with, of course, a prime Derrick Rose. You also got Lou Deng, who was a beast on the Chicago Bulls, man. Uh, Jeff Teague back from his, I believe he made the All-Star team on the Atlanta Hawks one year. Or he might have been the only guy in the team not to make it, but I'm pretty sure he did. We have the Portland Trailblazers, although those guys are pretty much all in their prime as is. Golden State Warriors, they don't need to get any better, but you got that, uh, you know, 2016 Stephen Kirby out there with Kevin Durant, DeMarcus Cousins, and then you got Dwight Howard on the Washington Wizards with John Wall, Bradley Beal, Otto Porter, Jeff Green. That team, I think, is going to make some noise out there, man, because Dwight Howard would actually kill in the current NBA, if we're being honest about that. But here we go, man. We are going to go ahead and check out this simulation. As far as the team I want to see, 
Um, I think we're gonna pray pray some uh, respect towards the Miami Heat with Dwayne Wade as it is his final NBA season. Let's get going on the simulation. So as I do the simulation, I want to know from you guys in the comment section below. Who are some NBA players in the past that you would love to see play in today's league? It could be stars, it could be former role players, just somebody you really liked a lot, man. Maybe you're a big, you know, big Darko Milicic fan. You're like, yo, I want to see Darko play in the NBA today. He'd be freaking dominant. He really wouldn't, but yeah, man. Um, as far as some players I'd love to see play right now, Rashard Lewis. I think Rashard Lewis would, he probably end up being a top five three-pointer of all time, guys. Um, he really would. Give me one second here. Let me do all this stupid uh, G League stuff, and I'll get back talking more about that. So you got Rashard Lewis. I just think he was like a stretch big before stretch big was really a thing. I mean, you know, stretch bigs have always been around to some extent, but he really was somebody that utilized that position. And, you know, back in that Orlando Magic team with Dwight and Jameer Nelson, Hito Turkoglu, that was definitely something that was a big part of their success. Also, his uh, Seattle Supersonics days. You got Sean Marion, of course, who was a beast for the Phoenix Suns in that seven-second offense. I, it's still so hard to believe because I remember watching that team with, like, Steve Nash and all of them, how quick that team was. It's just crazy to think that as far as their pacing goes, that would now be considered 28th in the NBA as far as speed of playing. So, it just goes to show how quick the NBA game has changed. Um, I love to see Allen Iverson play now just because you got, like, Isaiah Thomas, who, like, dominated a few seasons ago on the Celtics despite his height. You got Kemba Walker out there. who's was kind of smaller, too. I would love to see what Allen Iverson would do. He'd probably be averaging about 40 free throws a game the way he fell down after going to the basket every single time. Um, Kobe Bryant would be a lot of fun to watch. I mean, yeah, Kobe Bryant's going to dominate no matter which area he's in. I don't care if it's either 3,000 or 1,000. There's a basketball. Kobe Bryant is going to dominate the game out there. But once again, it's just like, you know, I was just reading stuff on Twitter. By the way, follow me guys at Flakes 2 k And I was just reading stuff about Kobe Bryant and just some of like, like, you know, like, like 10 years ago, some of the stats he was putting on, man, his 81-point game, dropping 60 points. He dropped like 40 points like 12 times in one season. I think he did like four or five games in a row. There was two months where he averaged like 42 points per game. So I'd love to see how he would score now in the NBA. Um, you have Larry Bird out there who, you know, Larry Bird was kind of a slower player, I'd say. But despite that, it would really be fun to watch him play that power forward position now because just like his passing ability and get to the basket, his jump shot, I think Larry Bird would absolutely dominate the game today. Um, Magic Johnson, of course, fills that mold of, you know, those taller point guards now. Your Ben Simmons, your, uh, you know, LeBron James, of course, not really technically point guards, I'd say, but, you know, they kind of handle the basketball and stuff like that. But, yeah, man, that brings us to the end of the simulation right here. So, let's go ahead and simulate through date against the Brooklyn Nets. Check out some of these players' stats here. Uh, 49 wins for the Miami Heat on the season. So, despite all the prime players, we still have Russell Westbrook getting the MVP award. That makes me think, do you guys think Oscar Robinson would be dropping triple doubles like this if he played today? Because I know that's the player Russell gets compared a lot to. DeAndre and rookie of the year, that wasn't going to change. Greg Monroe, sixth man on the Toronto Raptors. Dwight Howard, defensive player of the year. I knew he was going to get uh, you know, stats like that. 24 points, 14 rebounds, 3 blocks per game. Zebo is most improved. And Billy Donovan, 63-19 and 19 for that Thunder team. Um, All-NBA first team, Russell, Dwayne Wade, Giannis, LeBron James, and Dwight Howard. All-NBA second, Tony Parker, Kyle Lowry, Paul George, Blake Griffin, Joel Embiid. All this is looking pretty good to me so far. All-NBA third, we got Demarcus, Kevin Love, Dirk Nowitzki, James Harden, and Jimmy Butler. All defensive teams. Some of the greatest defenders of all time right here, man. Go back to Andre Iguodala, who I actually heard might be retiring soon. So, yeah, man, I mean, that's going to be kind of a sad day when that happens. Let's go ahead, and these are the teams that are all in the playoffs. OKC, Minnesota, Houston, LA, Utah, Dallas, Golden State, Denver. Then we got Toronto, Cleveland, Washington, Atlanta. Miami, Detroit, Milwaukee, and Boston. Um, I guess I can go to the conference standings so you guys can see like how your favorite team did if they're not in the playoffs. But yeah, so according to this, the New York Knicks, the worst team, which makes sense because they don't really have you know guys that are in their prime, that were in the prime before on that team, in the Clippers and Kings towards the bottom of the Western Conference. Um, player stats. I'm, no, I guess yeah, we'll go to player stats here first. I'm just gonna scroll through it like this. So you guys see how like the top five players your team did. Dwayne Wade killing it for the Heat. Tony Parker, Kemp Walker, bad court. Pretty nice at scoring out there, man. We got Kyle Corbett killing it with Donovan Mitchell. Porzingis dropping 25. LeBron James, not really big time scoring numbers. We got so much more talent on that team now with this video um, that, of course, you want to be scoring as much. Y'all saw Jerk drop 25. Isaiah Thomas at 19. Old people still doing his thing out there. Yo, how that man, uh, Jaleel Okafor, dude? 11.6 rebounds. Good for you, man. Although you never really did reach your prime. Jose Cultural on 13 and 10 assists for him. If you guys do want to pause on your favorite team so you can like take a better look at the stats. Uh, feel free to do so. Yo, Paul George dropping 30. We got D-Rose. Come on, 2K. I know y'all got some scoring out there. This man D-Rose is going to be dropping 40 points today if he was in his prime. No, uh, it's actually people are saying that 
like the, the the stats compared to his MVP season, the way Derek Wolves has been playing as of late, he's actually playing better than his MVP season, man. That is so cool. That is that's why I love basketball cuz like guys like Derek Rose, they just don't give up and they work hard out there to give us the inver the uh, entertainment that we get every single night, man. So shout out to Derek Rose for doing that for us. But here we go. Give me your predictions in the comment section. Well, pause the video if you want to and let me know which team is going to win. My predictions are, I'm going to say, well, I'm rolling with Dwayne Wade in the heat. So I'm going to say Miami. Um, all Toronto, you know, it is Toronto in this game. They still got Kawhi Leonard. Where on the Western Conference, I'm going to say probably Golden State. But I can see OKC slipping by potentially. So we'll go ahead and simulate current round right here. See how this goes. I mean, as always, guys, if you want some more of these what-if type of videos, let me know which ones you want to see in the comment section below. Um, also, if you made it this deep in the video, chances are you probably are already subscribed to my second channel, Extra Crispy. But for Christmas slash the holidays, I'm doing a $150 PSN slash Xbox giveaway over on my second channel, Extra Crispy. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel to be a part of that. So, OKC Houston, Golden State, Dallas, Toronto, Atlanta, and Detroit, Boston. So, the Heat actually got knocked out by my Pistons. I'm good with that. I'm, you know, if, if the team I'm voting for doesn't do well, then that, that's just okay, man, because my Pistons still won. Dirk in Dallas is gone. Atlanta with Vince Santi is gone. And then we got the Celtics with Kyrie gone. And we have Houston Rockets gone. So we got OKC, Golden State, Toronto, and my Detroit Pistons. Let's get it, baby. Simulate current round. We all know who I'm rooting for now. And as I say that, we are probably going to get swept. Yep, they do. Four games to zero. Toronto in the finals. And OKC in the finals. So that's cool to see, I guess, that OKC made it. The Raptors still. I mean, yeah, we give them more prime players. They're going to continue dominating. It goes to show, man, the Toronto Raptors, the most OP team in NBA history. It doesn't matter, guys. Like, even Golden State, man. It's like, to me, the Raptors in this game are becoming the new Golden State. Although they are having really good success in real life. So it is nice to see a different team actually dominate the scene besides, um, you know, the Golden State Warriors. But here are the playoff leaders out there. Paul George, about 30 a game. 30 a game for Dirk. Kevin Love, 27 and 13. Going back to his former self. So... Yeah, guys, had a lot of fun doing this video. Uh, Derek Rose doing his thing in the playoffs, too. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, be sure to drop that like, subscribe to my channel. Yo, let me get to 50 right here. Yo, was that? Yo, Alec Burks got buckets like that on the uh, Cavaliers. Okay. Oh, but, yeah, man, thank you all so much for watching. Peace out, my friend.